On the 2nd of April 1982, Argentinian forces invaded the British territories of the Falkland Islands. When diplomatic talks failed, Britain prepared for military action. After the Argentinians invaded the Falkland Islands, Britain sent a task force down, which eventually consisted of just about every ship the Navy had available. The task force commander realized that the absolute priority there was to make sure that the one and only runway on the Falkland Islands, just outside the, the capital, Stanley, uh, was put out of action, and that the Argentinians shouldn't be able to make it a usable runway where, from which the Argentinians could attack his ships. The RAF was tasked with disabling the runway in an operation codenamed Black Buck. Their most suitable aircraft was the Vulcan Bomber, but it was not designed for such a long-range mission. When we first were told that the Vulcan was going to fly all that distance over the sea, we thought, well, what's the point? We won't even find the Falkland Islands, let alone bomb them. An awful lot of the equipment that we've got in here, the airspeed readouts, uh, ground speed indicator, the heading indicator, is what you'd expect to see in a, a Second World War bomber, a Lancaster. You certainly haven't got any computer screens or any GPS. As well as navigation issues, the sheer distance was a problem. The Falkland Islands were 8,000 miles from the UK, so the RAF needed a base to reach them. But there was nowhere within thousands of miles. The only place we could use was Ascension Island. Ascension Island is off the west coast of Africa. That was the closest place that we had from which we could operate. No South American country would allow us to operate out of there because they, they were all remaining neutral. They didn't want to get involved in this conflict. Even Ascension Island was nearly 4,000 miles from the Falklands, a round trip of 8,000 miles. This was far beyond the range of the Vulcan. The only way the Vulcan could get there was to be refueled in the air. And in fact, it wasn't just as though we had a, a tanker positioned halfway down that we could go and meet. We had to go with the tankers. And the tankers themselves had a limited range. So we needed every single tanker that we had available so that they could each could refuel one another to get the Vulcan all the way down there. The ambitious refueling mission relied on a carefully planned relay of Victor tankers to cover the vast distance. Even a single air-to-air -air refueling was a highly skilled operation, so attempting multiple refuelings with many aircraft was a huge undertaking. The first Operation Black Buck, which took place at the end of April in 1982, um, was something which nobody really had ever envisaged could take place. The whole flight was over the sea, out of range of land, but the biggest risk really was for both ourselves and the victors was running out of fuel. But we trained and uh, learnt the art of air to air fueling, had more equipment put on the aircraft to enable us to navigate, and before we even really felt we were ready to go, we were told we were flying down to Ascension Island and then the next day, we flew on to attack the, this runway. Throughout the mission, the Vulcan refueled six times, with the relay of Victor tankers fueling each other even more times. Both bomber and tankers ran dangerously low on fuel. After enduring a flight of nearly 4,000 miles, Finally, the mission reached the Falkland Islands. On the 1st of May, uh, just before dawn, the Vulcan dropped 21 bombs, which resulted actually in getting one bomb on the runway, a big crater on the runway. Even though it didn't prevent the Argentinians from landing Hercules aircraft and other light aircraft, they had lots of knock-on effects because Argentina realised that if we had the ability to hit the Falklands, we also had the ability to hit the mainland. It certainly took the Argentinians by surprise, and the effect it had on morale on both sides, as you can imagine, was incredible. 
Black Buck became the longest distance air raid in history, involving a round trip of almost 16 hours. Overall, seven missions were planned and five were fully completed, each making the journey all the way from Ascension Island. By the 21st of May, British troops were able to land on the Falklands, and after intense fighting, with hundreds of casualties on both sides, the Argentinians surrendered on the 14th of June. I was absolutely elated when we actually had bombed the target and we turned away and I was still alive because a couple of weeks earlier than that, I was absolutely convinced that if we could find the target, it would be unlikely to hit it. We were such a big, slow, easy target that I really didn't think it was more than a one-way mission. The way we managed to uh, liberate the islands is um, now textbook stuff which is studied in all military academies around the world. 